Hello there Sagittarius and welcome to your story and what's to come. I hope you guys are doing okay out there. So Sagittarius, let's go ahead and find out uh, all that we can find out about your story and also we'll get some advice and we'll find out what's coming as well, okay? So let's see, what is Sagittarius's, uh, Sagittarius' story here? What is Sagittarius? Hmm... Something really divine is happening with a lot of you Sagittarius. So there may be a time that some of you guys are experiencing maybe internal bliss or joy, pure love with oneself, or some of you guys, you might be um, getting ready or at a new stage when it comes to love, fulfillment. Um, something beautiful is happening here when it comes to true fulfillment and an opening of that. So we got water sign coming through, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Now, some of you, um, and maybe most of you Sagittarius, again, going back to divine inspiration, maybe there's something that you're tapping into within yourself and you're real realizing something special. Um, maybe you're realizing a gift or something new about yourself, or there's just this new profound sense of tranquility happening between you and the universe, okay? So there's something significant when it comes to love happiness here and a beginning all right so let's see what else is your story what is this all about um camouflage adaptation clairvoyance yeah going back with uh maybe divine gifts abilities here figuring something out with yourself some of you guys you might be really um you know at a new phase in your life where some of you guys are just kind of adapting to changes or you're figuring things out trying some stuff, figuring out what you like, what you don't like, or maybe just kind of hanging around in the background, just blending in um, and doing what you guys need to do. Because I feel that this is a time of, you know, uh, I mean, look at this chameleon is just uh, hanging on to and hugging that tree branch. So there's something about you guys feeling safe and secure no matter what. Okay. So yeah, I feel a lot of you guys are really adapting to some beautiful new changes here, okay? Uh, what else is Sagittarius' story? So Sagittarius, whenever you guys get to this video and it resonates for you, then it's meant for you. Otherwise, uh, check your moon, your rising, or your Venus signs, or you can check out past messages as well. Those are all timeless. Let's see what else is going on. What else is your story here? Some of you guys have a new gift and ability here, right? And you're just like loving something about it. So that's really good. Uh, a lot of you guys need to know that there is something about you guys really growing, maybe reestablishing or establishing yourself significantly here. Even if you don't see all the results that you like to see, um, a lot of you guys have the ability to really... Um, you know, grow, stay grounded, and maybe even working with nature spirits, your spirit guides, your angels. Um, there may be a, a strong connection with fairies for some of you guys. Um, either way, there is a strong connection with you and the elementals. We do have earth sign coming through here. So a lot of you guys are doing, there's something that you guys are putting together. Something is coming together. You're building something. And there's something about you guys advancing and building within yourself here. So there's just like um, growth and um, something is materializing for a lot of you Sagittarius, okay? Um, let's find out what else is your story. We got Earth sign coming through, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. What else is Sagittarius's story? Um, let's see, mindfulness, be mindful of another's feelings and needs. Um, someone needs your love right now. And the loving uh, thought is all it takes. Ooh, some of you guys might be picking up on some type of energy here or someone that you guys are feeling, um, guided towards, or they might be guided towards you. Um, you know, what was interesting was some of you Sagittarius may be you know, having some type of different visions going on as well that is helping uh, you guys and guiding you in, in a sense here. Um, I do feel some of you guys already know who or what to help. Maybe this is about you guys um, helping others um, if it's not a, a specific person. But I feel a lot of you guys are doing what you can to stay mindful and unaware, okay? Um, 
and maybe just sending out that loving uh, energy or at least trying to get into a place of being very mindful so that we can just stay positive about a situation. Um, I'm getting air sign coming through. So Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. What else is uh, Sagittarius' story? Well, well, I'm seeing some of you guys breaking free from, you know, a, a negative situation or maybe even things that we could be doing ourselves here. I feel a lot of you guys are uh, doing what you guys need to do or receiving an opportunity or some type of clarity, um, even if it, d it doesn't come into clear view. What's going on with this card? I do feel a lot of you guys are opening up to um, something significant when it comes to nurturing yourself or being nurtured as well by a lady. Does it have to be by a lady, but there's a very feminine, um, strong energy coming through here. There is something else going on too, because this lady is actually one of wealth and abundance. So I feel a lot of you guys, you need to trust your abilities. You need to trust um, in success. You need to, for some of you guys, um, you just really need to trust um, more about your accomplishments and what you guys are capable of accomplishing and also receiving here. Um, so I do feel that there's something going on here with some of you um, Sagittarius is with uh, trying to, you know, maybe get out of a situation that we're feeling very, um, you know, frustrated in or disappointed in. Okay. Maybe there is something strong going on with, um, you know, making really strong changes or being able to see something clearly, especially if things have been, um, you know, maybe too much for one person here. I do see some of you guys actually taking time to meditate as well. Um, and possibly maybe some of you guys, you're doing this or maybe you're being guided to, um, you know, to uh, disengage from things or habits or, you know, overindulging in things that might cause you to feel more, um, I don't know, in a state of sadness or disappointment. Okay. But for the most part, I see a lot of you guys like doing what you can and, and breaking free or having the ability or the breakthrough that you guys need to have. Okay. Especially when you've been in a place of great disappointment. Um, let's see, what else is Sagittarius' story? Some of you Sagittarius, look at this. Remember there was this message. Oh, look at that. Someone needs your love right now and a loving thought is all it takes. Hmm. Maybe that's you Sagittarius in that, in that water right, right there. And some of you guys, you're just going to be someone's sh sunshine or you are someone's sunshine here that, that can really help and aid someone that you know, maybe is feeling in a sense of despair or maybe even being lonely or, you know, we just, there's something about, you know, helping someone here. Okay. That I would say that wants to be helped because there's nothing, <laughs> you know, Sagittarius, you know what it's like probably to help people that don't want to be helped. Or some of you guys, you just realize that that's just wasted energy, but I do sense you guys being drawn to um, you know, being an impact here for someone or people, maybe with your abilities to aid, guide, and teach others in a sense. Let's find out what else is your story. this Sagittarius we even have your card coming through here with temperance energy um, and I do see something going on here where there may be something that you guys are realizing now some of you if you're in a state of confusion or being overwhelmed or maybe there's you know some type of um, you know delusion going on not, you know not in a way that I would say is you know something you can't handle but there had there there's something going on here with that seven of mirrors we've got a broken mirror back there. So I do feel some of you Sagittarius, um, you know, there's something about some of you guys just having the pa patience, understanding balance. That's maybe helping you guys, you know, realize or uh, bring into view or more focus of what your dreams really are. And maybe for some of you guys too, there could be something here where 
I don't know, some of you guys might be um, disengaging from things that could be overwhelming for you or too much for you, okay? I do feel some of you Sagittarius um, really are seeing something true though for yourself where you're coming into a real sense of divine gifts or guidance and, and you just need to have patience because it's all working out in divine timing for you, okay? So I feel some of you Sagittarius, you're doing things in a mindful way, right, to help create your dreams, to help make you guys stay as, as much as you can balanced, right? And there is something about you guys receiving some victory, some success here. Um, what else is Sagittarius' story? Innocence, gentleness, and appreciation. Yeah, I feel this is all about you guys being gentle right now um, and just honoring and appreciating what you can. Some of you, you may need to just be gentle. You may need to know that you're really at a, begin, a, at a beginning stage or at a stage right now that calls for one to be um, very gentle, okay? So I do see something going on here. For some of you, yeah, I feel some of you said, Sherry, is there's, a, there's an energy that you're either connected to right now or you're about to. There's just something about something being very gentle and innocent, appreciative, and this is a very um, healing energy for you, okay? So I do feel a lot of you guys really are um, you know, for the most part, just trying to stay very pure, or at least you're just trying to do things um, to be gentle with yourself and others and starting to really appreciate the good things in your life. Or some of you guys, this might be a big revelation for you because there's something about you guys uh, having some type of new beginning and feeling um, ready for this and really at a stage of um, accepting and receiving. What else is Sagittarius's story? Golly, you two, right? Yes, oh my gosh, something came to play here. Something happened. Endings bring beginnings. Oh, yeah, I can see why you guys are feeling very overwhelmed, right? There's something that was at play here. We've had some type of um, revelation, epiphany, or some type of shocking, unexpected change. Okay, I feel a lot of you, uh, you might have felt like a sense of some type of, maybe even it was bad luck here, but something is being divinely uh, transformed for you guys. There was a divine intervention at play, but most importantly, there's something that was maybe broken down or had to come down to open up a new beginning, okay? But yes, you guys had to dealt with some type of situation where, ooh, it was unexpected for sure. Okay, what else? Two of spirals, two of wands, and now the two of mirrors here. So there is something strong, and even the two of stones. My goodness, we've got two, two, two. Ooh, so there's something really opening up for a lot of you guys. Yeah, there's something going on here where, you know, <gasps> oh, you guys are just, woo. You might be at a crossroads, two different paths. Some of you guys, you're opening up yourself to a new partnership. Um, and so it's taking some time because there may be something here where you're having, you're having to figure out and prioritize. But I'm seeing something happening here when it comes to a change. I mean, a change of uh, path maybe even a change of heart going towards what we truly love or what we truly feel is uh, whole and healthy and right for us. Some of you guys, you know, there could have been really a, you know, a real breakup here, right? A real, a real uh, transformation, a real change when it came to things coming apart in order for things to come together. And, and also, I see a lot of you guys doing what you can to adapt to the changes, right? So I do feel a lot of you are really doing what you can to um, maybe even stay in the background or, you know, adapt to these changes because it can be very uncomfortable. Some of you guys, it's like you're really at cross a crossroads or, you know, you're, you might be uncertain of which way to go. So there's just a lot going on with, um, there's a lot going on with Sagittarius, that's for sure. What else is Sagittarius' story? Yeah, 
I feel Sagittarius, this is all about you guys coming into a place of health, healing, joy, um, a sense of rejoice, maybe with friends or with people that you can really connect with. Um, I'm seeing this something about you guys being like really appreciated too for your gifts, your services, or who you are. We do have this uh, motherly energy coming through as well. So there's something strong about you guys, um, you know, nurturing and being a caregiver, even if it's just for yourself, uh, because it is about you guys being able to maintain, you know, healthy boundaries with yourself and others. Okay. So I feel there's something about you guys rejoicing and feeling good about yourself. Some of you, you know, you're doing what you can, um, you know, to build yourself up. I feel for some of you, you might be wanting to, or you're connecting with the right, you know, positive people or as much as you can. Now, some of you, I do see the Empress sitting here by herself as well. So some of you, you could be realizing some things that you just want to disengage from in order to really uh, make yourself feel uh, more abundant, more comfortable uh, to take better care of yourself. Um, I'm seeing some of you guys just breaking away from bad, you know, habits or people that could cause bad habits as well for some of you. Okay. But not all of you, but there is something about you guys feeling appreciated, appreciated, um, you know, for something that you guys really hold, there's just this nurturing energy going on here. So I feel a lot of you, um, there's something about you guys, uh, feeling good as good as possible, no matter what's going on, you know? Because there may be something here for some of you guys where you might not be seeing yourself as divine and beautiful and whole as, as you, um, you know, as spirit wants you to. But I do see for the most part, a lot of you guys are working towards that. And it's, there is something really um, opening up uh, for you here. Okay. Yeah, I feel something's going on here too with some of you guys. Um, some of you. There's something about wading through people, getting through people to get to the right people. Okay. Let's see. What else is Sagittarius' story? Hmm. Four of spirals. So there may be something going on wrapped around home, home environment, a home, maybe new commitments or opening yourself up to a new neighborhood possibly. But most importantly, I'm seeing something about you guys you know, feeling secure and protected and restful, right? Getting whatever rest if you need rest, right? So there may be some time that we're spending at home or indoors. Um, some of you guys, you could be focused on a home. <laughs> you could be focused on uh, things that really help you guys feel secure, okay? We've got fire sign coming through. Uh, what else is a Sagittarius' story? Hmm. Yeah, I feel, oh my gosh. Yeah, Sagittarius, you guys really have been through it. There's just, there's like this, oh my gosh. Yeah, I feel some of you guys, some some of you Sagittarius, you're, you're going to uh, really be able to detach yourself or see from a higher perspective that something was, something will come to um, clarity for you. Now, some of you, there may be something about you guys really honoring your decisions here because something could have really, some of you guys could have seen something that could have kept you guys trapped um, as well. Or, you know, you could have seen something become toxic, but some of you guys, you might be still having a hard time letting go of maybe decisions of the past or something that has happened that has really been disappointing, heartbreaking. Okay. Some of you guys, there may be, um, you know, there may be this situation where we're replaying something over our, in our head too, that could be keeping some of you guys, you know, trapped, trapped in that. But for the most part, I am seeing a lot of you guys either getting the help or being able to see something very clear and making some wise decisions when it comes to things that can um, maybe bring on future disappointments or, you know, things that could become toxic. Some of you, Sagittarius, you're, you're really saying your goodbyes or you're, you know, really working through the challenges of some type of major sadness or loss here. Could have been with someone here too, with that King of Swords. It could have been very cold and distant. 
with you. And so you're, you know, at this place where, yes, you guys all, you know, what can you do? You have to love yourself, right? But there's something about you, Sagittarius, coming into a place of clarity here. It's coming through strong. And there's something about justice as well, or finding out the truth, or, you know, realizing what is right for you in the long run. What else is Sagittarius' story? Yeah, you guys might be in your thoughts a lot. I mean, we even have number 16 here. We have the terror, excuse me, t uh, tower, which is number 16 here too. So some of you guys, um, you know, there may be just this thing about you guys having an opening so that you guys can visualize something. Um, I do see maybe a new person forming um, or possibly some of you guys, you're just in your thoughts a lot about a person or a situation here. Yeah. Um, I'm getting eight of swords energy as well for some of you guys. Uh, let's see what else is Sagittarius the story. Four of stones. <laughs> so I feel a lot of you guys are doing something when it comes to, um, now for some, you know, there is something about you guys, um, gaining some type of material success and gaining more. But there may be something going on, too, for some of you guys with your realizing, um, you know, what to hang on to and what not to hang on, you know, what you want to hang on to and treasure and what you don't want to. Um, some of you guys might be feeling like some type of financial block, not all of you, but some of you might be feeling a path might be blocked due to finances um, or there's just something that some of you guys you need to uncover, right? You know, there's something about you guys uncovering something um, in your environment now and opening yourself up to the gifts that are available to you right now. There's some type of blessings um, that some of you guys are seeing or you're going to be coming into, okay? But I do see this thing about, you know, um, some of you, you may be, you may really be at this King of Swords energy where you're really holding off and detaching yourself from a situation or people, um, some of you, you know, there's something about you guys, um, you know, protecting what is rightfully yours, okay? And that's what you guys are doing, and you're building more. Some of you, yeah, I'm seeing something strong about security foundation, a home, you know, saving up for a home for some of you guys or something like that. Not all of you, but some. Uh, what else is said, Sherry? It's a story. Oh, look at this. Sagittarius, there's some, <laughs> well, this is good. There's something going on here with, with you guys receiving revelation, something being exposed, uh, someone bringing <laughs> like life to you here. We do have the sun card here. So something is being brought to light for a lot of you Sagittarius. Maybe you guys have been feeling like you've been um, in the slumber, right? And maybe for some, you've had to kiss a lot. Maybe you felt like you had to kiss a lot of disappointing frogs to get to your prince or your princess or your dream, right? So you've had to go through. It was like this sense of waiting through disappointments, waiting through people, you know, to get to the right people, the right situation. So I feel a lot of you, um, Sagittarius, are focused on your happiness right now. What can bring you guys happiness? Maybe you're focused on your health and healing. So that's a good thing because there's something that you guys are getting. There's like this true happiness, really. There's something really divine that's happening, too. And I feel a lot of you guys really are destined for, you know, a very true divine fulfillment. Okay, let's see. Um, uh, yeah, maybe some of you guys... Maybe some of you guys are seeing the right person for you right now or you're about to, okay? Uh, what else is Sagittarius' story? A positive outcome requires a positive vision. Look at that. So visualize everyone involved in your present situation surrounded by light and love and make sure to include yourself also because your love has a power to influence and transform the current events. So a lot of you said Sherry is really need to know how powerful you really are and how you have these abilities and gifts, right? 
everything that has gone like crashing down or maybe what we've had a revelation in. It's all about you really knowing to stay positive. So Spirit is just telling you guys that something is being transformed and you guys have the ability to transform your current events because some of you guys, you might be feeling really, maybe for some, you could be feeling very stuck in a situation, really homebound in a situation or unable to get out of a situation. That's just temporary, okay? Um, what else is uh, Sagittarius' story? The dreamer, the knight of mirrors. Here's the um, knight of cups. So I feel a lot of you guys are doing things right now to open yourself up to dreams, to visions, maybe possibly romance, um, falling in love for some of you guys, or just following your dreams and really pursuing the things that give you guys joy. So I feel a lot of you said, Sherry, is something really uh, powerful is happening here when it comes to... Um, something very strong within you that is like a natural ability that you guys have and so you guys are just really um going forth and trusting this allowing it to unfold here and i'm just noticing that tiger just really going after something <laughs> let's see what else is um sagittarius's story Yeah, five of scrolls. Yeah, I feel that some of you guys have realized something when it comes to uh, changing a direction or taking a high road in a situation or navigating yourself away from more conflict or hurts and betrayals. Um, but there is something about you guys, you know, changing directions or maybe there was a severing here of ties with people or, or someone um, that maybe we've had, you know... <laughs> We've had some hurt. We've had some disappointment. We've had betrayal for some of you guys, right? What else is uh, Sagittarius' story? Harmony. Yeah, I feel a lot of you guys just really want to choose harmony over anything. I mean, that's what we should all strive for. Disharmony occurs when we try to resist life's natural flow. Ooh. Yeah, see that? The tower. And we've had that five of cups, right? And there's this flow, and maybe that's what it is here. And look at this. There's something about, oh, the winds of change here. So this is really, you have to give in to the winds of change. You've got to adapt no matter what. So hopefully you guys are, okay? And maybe for some, this could be a reminder that everything has its cycle, every stage of life has its own unique meaning and purpose each day can be harmonious if we want it to be what else is Sagittarius's story I feel a lot of you Sagittarius are really getting like deeper meanings about things and it's just becoming more profound and beautiful for you and it's helping you guys what else is Sagittarius's uh, story Yeah, my gosh. I feel you, Sagittarius, may resonate with Libra's reading in this series. I do feel that you guys, <laughs> major karmic events, life cycles, we were just talking about that, right? So we are going through some changes. I feel for a lot of you guys, it really is going towards the positive. I mean, you got that Ace of Cups. I've got this thing about you guys really advancing. So, you know, we have luck on your side here, if you guys believe. Now, remember, this really is going to be important, you guys. Really, it is. Because regardless, there, there's something about you guys not, you can't control. the. Th this is something out of your control here with that Wheel of Fortune. So you might as well stay positive. A positive outcome requires positive vision, okay? Positive visions. Yeah, some of you guys really got felt very stung by someone or in a situation really stung but there's something about you guys receiving sweet results okay by taking the high road or, or doing what you guys know is right right but either way there's something about you guys having to like hang on through all the twists the turns the changes these karmic events or these cycles what else is uh said sherry's story look at that my goodness, Sagittarius, a lot of you guys really are very powerful right now. It's coming out twice with the temperance. 
So for some of you guys, it's been really challenging you. It's, it's causing s tremendous challenges with you guys figuring out, um, you know, your balance and your limits with all things right now. But there is something about you guys really trusting in divine timing. Okay. This is coming out twice, Sagittarius. Um, where's the other one? Yeah, golden flower. This is all about you guys having your transformation for success. So I feel a lot of you Sagittarius, you're, you're figuring something out with yourself. And this is what's getting some of you guys really motivated and, ex and excited here. So continue that path. Can you know, continue to be, be patient because I feel a lot of you guys are okay for the most part. What else is Sagittarius' story? Oh my, ooh, yes, look at that psychic visionary coming through here. So a lot of you Sagittarius really have this knowing, this intuition and following your heart, right? So there's something significant when it comes to a person as well for a lot of you Sagittarius, but I am getting something about you guys, you know, um, really trusting in divine timing here. Let's get a little bit more with this Queen of Cups for Sagittarius's, um, story because i see a healer here a guide a teacher a counselor someone that can help someone as well so i see a lot of you guys um becoming more radiant and gifted here too but also you know we got the two of spirals a two of mirrors a two of stones so there's something strong happening with love i mean we got that ace of cups too Let's get a little bit more about this Queen of Cups for your story, Sagittarius. Oh my gosh. Yeah, there's someone, okay, there's something significant about you guys receiving exactly what you guys need to. The will, the will of fortune is coming out twice, Sagittarius. I'm not kidding you. Look, the will of fortune is coming out twice. Oh my gosh, yeah, there's a lot going on. Some of you guys, it could be just like, you know, you might be feeling an emotional up like storm or something like that. But for the most part, I feel a lot of you guys are doing what you can. It's almost like you guys are summoning this too, so you know it, okay? But yeah, there's, there's something about a lot of you guys being quite successful um, and, you know, fortunate when it comes to maybe some resources or money or what you guys need or a person here, a very promising partner as well for those seeking some type of maybe, um, you know, soulmate companion um, or maybe a business partner for some of you guys. But I am seeing something happening when it comes to a gift in love or finding the right suitor, finding the right situation. And also, gosh, I see a lot of you guys being quite successful too with plans and ideas or what you guys are, you know, pursuing. So, um, someone there, there's something about you guys meeting someone or something being faded here. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, I feel a lot of you guys, there's something changing too, when it comes to, um, having what you guys need or having more resources, more money, um, and also some type of loyal companion here or some type of loyal person in your life with that king of stones. Um, we got earth sign and water sign. What else is Sagittarius' story? Look at this Sagittarius. Mind over matter. Love wins. Yes, it does. Look at that Ace of Cups. It's like you guys know that love is going to win here. So some of you guys, you're doing what you guys can to stay incredibly strong. And that might be resisting some temptation for some of you guys or not giving in to, you know, your negative thinking or, you know, maybe others deceptions for some of you guys, right? Having mind over matter and really um, coming into a great sense of mastery here. And also there's something about you guys, um, doing something new as well and being uh, strong about it let's see didn't i just say something about temptation or like resisting and we even have this coyote uh, it's like you guys really have this up you guys really have this, the ability to if you guys really trust it to reveal illusions right 
This is kind of like your, um, your advantage. Yeah, that's what it is. You guys have this advantage, okay? So you have this advantage to actually see through illusions. And how awesome is that? Because we did see the seven of uh, mirrors as well, seven of cups. So a lot of you guys really do and are able to see um, what you guys need to see, right? Um, or some of you guys, you're, you know, you will be or you're uncovering some type of deception or illusion, maybe even with oneself and how you view yourself, especially if it's in a negative light, okay? Because if it's not positive, it's not good and it's not real anyways, okay? We can make changes, but for most part, a lot of you Sagittarius are, you know, revealing some type of illusion, which is a very powerful thing. Okay, let's see. What else is Sagittarius? Okay, nah. that's it for those. Okay, so let's find out uh, what's to come for Sagittarius. What is to come for Sagittarius? I'm hearing some of you guys are doing really awesome with an... Um, not giving in to impulses or um, overreacting or something like that. Okay, what, what, oh, what's to come? <laughs> well, 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 isn't this fortunate because we do have the Wheel of Fortune coming out twice. What's to come is some type of satisfaction, a desire, a wish fulfillment here. Um, I gotta do something with my computer here, okay. <laughs> Anyways, sorry about that. We got water sign coming through. So what's to come is some type of beautiful wish. Spirit is gifting you guys something magical. Something's happening at nighttime for some of you guys. There's something going on here at night. So pay attention to moon cycles. Pay attention for some of you guys. Yeah, there is, there is a strong feminine energy coming through. So yeah, pay attention to moon cycles because there's something happening here with dreams, visions, and nighttime, okay? So you guys are gonna be gifted a wish and it's like spirit is saying, which one? <laughs> which one do you want right now? You can have it, okay? Let's find out what else is to come for you. Wow. Okay. 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 <laughs> you guys are going to be rich. <laughs> I don't know about right now, but things, if, how things are going, but you guys are going to be rich. <laughs> no, I'll just say you guys are going to be well off. There's something about you guys having great fortunate events in your life. Yes, money is a high probability because holy moly, I mean, I see... I mean, we even have this lion and it says majesty on there, okay? We even have a king of um, pentacles. We got the queen of pentacles. We got the wheel of fortune twice. I mean, we even have temperance here. We got um, empress, empress. We got, a, we got, and even this lady, I was talking to you guys about this lady being very well off as well. So, okay. Some of you guys, I'm also hearing a match made in heaven. Okay, you're going to have a match made in heaven, so take that for how it resonates, but what's to come? So far, Sagittarius, you guys have amazing things coming towards you uh, that are very tangible and real. Okay, so let's find out what's the advice for Sagittarius. What's the advice for Sag... Oh, I have a card just fall... Oh, guess what just just fell. Oh my goodness. So the advice is for some of you guys to um okay, I'll show you what came falling out on the side over here was the thief card. So some of you guys, you do know what you need to walk away from for some, right? Cuz we do have that that sense of two of pentacles, um changes here, two of wands, but some of you guys the advice is is also don't allow um a dream thief to take away your dreams but some of you you need to be aware okay you need to use discernment uh when it comes to, towards um people 
uh, and situations, okay? Um, because there is something about you guys being very fortunate and there could be people that just want to take advantage of that or someone, um, okay? I might get a little bit more since that one decided to fall, but we're going to get uh, some advice for you. Advice for Sagittarius. Wow, Sagittarius, break free from anything. And this is a thing, I feel a lot of you guys understand now, you know, any traps in the future that you guys will be able to navigate yourself away from. Some of you guys are gonna get the help or the person um, that really breaks you, breaks you free, okay? See, look at that net, it's being broken open for you guys. So Spirit is saying, go for it. Get out of a situation. There's something for some of you guys to just, you know, really break free from, okay? Um, and it's gonna take a lot of your guys' inner courage and strength or whatever it is. Now, some of you guys, some of you, <laughs> the advice could be resisting temptation or, you know, not giving into insecurities either because you guys are a lot more powerful than you realize, okay? And it was interesting. We have a net here. And I was telling you guys, don't let a dream, you know, thief or someone uh, to steal your dreams, okay? So let's get a little bit more about this thief card. What do you want um, Sagittarius to know about this thief card? What do you want? There's something, okay. Okay. <laughs> I want a little bit more though with that, that thief card. There's something, there's a gift on its way for you guys actually. And there is, oh my gosh. So some of you guys, remember that thing that I was talking about? You've had to kiss like a lot of like frogs or something to get to your, your dream situation or your dream person. Well, it's going to happen, but there is something about you guys really having luck. Um, and there, there is something about you guys being, um, maybe for some you guys are going to, or you will be, or are experiencing a new sense of like, you know, appreciation from others and respect from others. Um, or either way, there's just something about you guys feeling a gift and feeling blossoming here um, and enjoying. <laughs> yeah, it's like something about some of you guys just enjoying this time to and surround yourself maybe in a garden. This might be a time to just surround yourself with beautiful things, beautiful people, positive situations, positive things. Okay, take a little break if you need to. Um, oh, now some of you guys. This is the thing too. There's like a beautiful garden you guys got, right? There's like this, this treasure you guys have been working, building or whatever. So you really need to be careful of snakes trying to find their way into your garden, okay? So that's what some of you guys need to be aware of that. <laughs> Let's get a little bit more about this thief. What else do you want uh, Sagittarius to know about this thief? Yeah, I feel you got, there's some, there's some, oh, okay, for some of you guys, don't let things drown you, or don't let, for some of you guys, something from the past take away from your future, don't lose your, some of you, don't lose, you know, your present moment and what's to come, because we've been stuck in the past, now some of you guys, there may be something going on with someone that's immature and childish, so there may be some a new beginning with you guys um, just really trusting your own instincts and trusting what's really going on. Um, there could be, again, okay, some of you guys may have, ah, some of you just need to be watchful for maybe a immature person and, and even maybe a child here because we got a child here, we got a child here. But anyhow, I feel a lot of you guys um, just stay focused on your own dreams, your own visions. Um, don't allow something to take away your dreams. That's the most important because this is about you guys really having faith in your abilities and your dreams, okay? Okay, some of you, some of you Sagittarius, if you guys know of an energy that's already been um, deceitful or a liar, you need to just only take this if it resonates because it won't for all of you. But some of you, if you know someone to be immature, deceitful, or a liar, and they um, try to smooze you and wooze you with a lot of gifts or lovey-dovey talk, um, you know, you know, be careful, you, you know. You know, there's something about you guys revealing illusion, okay? And some of you guys, you're at the beginning stage of um, revealing something, so have patience with yourself, okay? So I hope that was helpful. Love and light. Take care.